Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we're going to work on a little project for Steve Larson. He's over there at Secret MLM Hacks and also at My Funnel Stash. And the other day he was on a webinar and he was building out a survey funnel. And what he was asking about was when you get to the end of the survey funnel, apparently with the old version of the survey funnel, when you got to the end, you could have it automatically hide the survey and then show some other content. Well, it doesn't do that anymore. The only function you have is to hide the survey and not be able to show anything else. Or you can have it uh, basically show a progress bar that it's, uh, you know, it's, it's determining your results at that point. But then it has to take you to a URL and take you off the page to another page, which then you have to load another page. And of course, it's time consuming. And it's always a lot better if you can keep the person on the same page. So you don't have to have the pages reload again. So that's what I did for Steve is I first off I built uh, a just real quick little bit of code that when it gets to the very end, it hides the survey and then shows other content. But then he came back and he said, well, hey, is there any way that you could put that progress bar back in there? And I thought about it for a little bit and I came up with some code. So let's just take a look at what the result is. So you just have your basic survey. We got, um, actually I have three questions. I had down six because I copied Steve's headline. But you just click on and once you click the last one, what it's going to do is it's going to show us a progress bar. It's also going to show us the pulsing spinner. And then all of our content is going to load right in front of it. Now, you saw that took forever to load in there. And that's because I have an old computer and I'm running several things in the background, including Camtasia. So let's go into the code. Or actually, let me just go back in and let me show you this one more time real quick. So you just click, 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 click progress bar, pulsing spinner, content loads. So let's go into the code itself and take a look at what that's going to look like. Okay, let's go first into the survey element itself. And where we want to go is to outcomes. And we're going to choose the default outcome. And I have this set right now to loading then page direct. And we're going to click here and change that to hide survey. We are then going to, let me just save that. Now, if you want your content to show quicker, the way I have it set now is going to start in the upper left-hand corner and then slide in across the screen. Now, it only should take about half a second. Like I said, uh, I'm just running really slow. If you want that to just pop in without any animation or anything, just take out the word slow right here. Now, besides doing this, there's one other thing we have to get set up, and we have to find that element. Actually, let me manage the sections. No, that wasn't it. It was in a row. We have to come to this element here. What you have to do is you have to put this spinner element here in this headline element. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's open this up. Go to advanced come down to our picker and all it says is NIR not really sure why that is because what it is is the spinner element so we type in spinner we click on it and what you're going to find is it won't close there's a bug in click funnels where anytime you're in an icon picker uh, it doesn't close so you just click outside of it and we have our icon right there below this icon below this headline, we have one other element, and that is a divider element. Got 100% width, centered, everything. You don't really have to do much on there because what we're going to do is I put that in there so that I could then come along and change out the class. I'm going to switch the class, and that's where the where that progress bar is going to appear. But I had to have something there, so I thought divider was really the best element to put in there if I'm going to then put in a 
progress bar by switching out the class. So now let's go into our tracking code and let me explain to you how the tracking code works. First part here, all this does is it takes that spinner and it adds the pulse class to it, the FA pulse class to it. So if we didn't add that, it would just be a static spinner icon and wouldn't move at all. It would just, just sit there. So this causes it to rotate and pulse. So now the next part we're going to look at is we have to be able to show the element down here at the bottom and also turn on the class for the uh, progress bar to run across the bottom. So what we say is on when somebody clicks the last survey step, we're going to run this code below it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the code. We're going to hide this section up in here. And we're going to show this section down there. Actually, not sections, they're rows. Let's just go back to the tracking code. So we're going to hide one row, and we're going to show this row right here. Here, we're going to add this survey loading class to this element right down here, to this divider element. We're going to add this class to it. And then what we're going to say is wait three seconds, and then we want to hide everything that's on the screen basically and then bring in that content with the blue blue background that we had at the end this right here that's what's going to show at the very end so now let's take a look at the css in the css we have the load and the survey loading that's where we swapped out that class for this uh, divider element we swapped out the class and we gave it a color, we gave it a height, um, just so it would know how to look. And then we did a little bit of animation on it. And what we say in the animation is we're going to start from a width of 10%, and we're going to go to a width of 95%, and it's going to take us three seconds to get there. So that's what causes the effect of it going across the screen. And the rest of that is just garbage at the bottom. So that's really it. Let's just take one more look at it. It's pretty simple when it comes down to it, and we just go boom, 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 and again, it's going to load up really slow. So if you've got any questions, just reach out to me, and I'll um, help, help you with whatever I can, and also I'm going to include a share funnel for this, so if you want to be able to just grab that share funnel and download it, uh, feel free to go ahead, and again, if you've got any questions, just give me a holler. Have a good day.